Yeah, so I wanted to talk a little bit about what I'm doing here in this video. This is a small section of a larger burn salvage. It's a roadside area. I back cut behind the two tree link strip. And right now my wife's flagging for me on the highway. And uh, as a burned unit, this stuff is really delicate. There's a lot of down wood, mostly hemlock. And, uh, Roots burned off and it fell over. And they also hand fell a strip along the highway and it put down every which way. So the long and the short of it is it's really pretty much a mess. So another thing I wanted to say, talk about a little bit, is just uh, how impressed I am with this puncher and the head in particular, LX870D Tiger Cat. And I've got the 570226 head on it. And it's always awesome, but for doing work like this, that's so finicky and the wood's really delicate and laid down every which way. It's just a tangled up mess. This head is just it's just the perfect tool for it. I just gotta have to kick back and take my time and figure the puzzle out and take the puzzle apart. And this head is the perfect tool for doing it. So like I said, the, the stand is running right here pretty heavy to hemlock and I'm, I'm right alongside the road. So a lot of this hemlock is uh, naturally seeded, growing on top of stumps. And so a lot of pistol butted hemlock, like this one here, cut high and then knock the stump down so it doesn't foul the shovel. But the hemlock is super delicate. The roots are burned off and a lot of times they're just standing there waiting to tip over. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm kind of tiptoeing through the jigsaw puzzle. A little bit of hand fall wood here that I'm kind of line up. I'm not going to turn it around, but just line it up for the shovel. Yeah. This certainly is not high production cutting, but when you're all said and done, it, uh, it's kind of straightened out, it's got some order to it, and we can save everything we can.
sense here is that beekeepers rent the space and they'll bring a bunch of hives in and they put electric fence off to uh, keep the bears out of it. Yes, yeah, so this is where I started cutting out on this end here. Buffer, you know, it's what that's Kirk buffer there, and then there's a little side draw that's buffered out there. I cut that, and I cut that, and I cut this side of that knob, and then the far side where we parked. Yeah, so one, two, I got three, four. Five days into it, so my cut so far. Yeah, and we can go on going out. We can uh, kind of hoping you might see him logging, but it's all on a Friday. Your car is parked kind of straight on the left of that leave area down there. So that's that knob we were looking up at. So I split that knob, like I was saying, there's a line of leave trees right on the top of it, and then I split it so those leave trees are not following. Yeah, this little dab right here. The hand fell. I was held up down south. So. These guys want to get going. Brent put hand fallers on it. 